Hello, I'm Vitaly Glebichkin speaking for Lex Sharonov and in this video tutorial I'll tell you about using 3D LUT creator with DaVinci Resolve for color correction red camera footage. I have a small clip shot on red in R3D format. I uploaded it to DaVinci. Let's see what options we have for working with it. I opened camera raw module and it shows that we have red camera footage. To change the settings I choose clip in the code using drop down list. The first and the easiest option which we'll look at is development in DaVinci using camera raw. To do this I need to select color space rec 709 and gamma rec 709 and from the raw file we develop the image with the normal contrast. To add a grading in 3D LUT creator I'll save a steel. Right mouse click grab steel. Export to T format. I open it in 3D LUT Creator. Since this image is already developed, I do not need to turn on lock. I can work with it as a conventional image. Let's try for example to paint neutral colors in blue. You can do it with the curves by moving the black point in the red and green channels to the right. For example like this and add a mask to reduce the effect on warmer colors. I'll make a mask based on the color temperature. I make the maximum impact on cool tones. That's what we've got. I slightly soften the mask so the picture does not split into warm and cool tones so much. For example like this. This is without the mask and with it. Now I need to save the LUT. DaVinci stores LUTs in its own folder. So let's open DaVinci. In the file menu choose project settings. In the color management tab press the button open LUT folder. LUTs are located in this folder. I copy the path. Return to 3D LUT creator. Choose cube format. Insert the path to this folder and name the file red rec 709 Now to apply it in DaVinci, you need to press the update list button to make the slot appears in the list. List updated. Now click the right mouse button on the node. Choose 3D LUT LUT red rec 709 I click it and get the same result as we had in 3D LUT Creator. Here is the before and after. It was the first option of the red footage development right in the DaVinci. Now I consider the second option, reset node parameters. And now we will develop in 3D LUT Creator. For this we need a picture on a logarithmic gamma. I choose red log film gamma. We see that the dynamic range is squeezed and shadows became visible. I choose red color space. You can select any of red color spaces as 3D LUT creator has all of them. I save a still in a T format. and load it into 3D LUT Creator. I turn off previous correction and now we got a picture in red log film in red color space. I will make LUT convert on this picture to REC 709. I choose red log film in the input log list. Thus, the red log film curve is applied. It restores the contrast. We see that the contrast was restored, but the colors became less saturated. It is because the picture is still in red color. In order to make the LUT that converts red color in REC 709, I need to go in the channels tab and in the drop down menu select create color space transform matrix. Here I select red color space and the one that we need to get, REC 709. 
it is automatically set all the values of primaries. Click OK. I got the resulting matrix for converting video from red color to Rec 709. Red color is not the most wide color space. If we choose for example red dragon color, which is much wider, we would have more significant changes. Select again the correct color space. Thus, we had the right development of red log film to Rec 709. If we had color checker here, we could check that video development is done right. That is, the color and brightness match the reference values. I have tested this on other stills, so I know that the conversion works properly. Now, since the LUT performs development from red log film to Rec 709, it is nearly equivalent to working with the raw file. So I can change the exposure, white balance, and all these corrections will be mathematically correct. We will not produce color tints in the shadows and highlights. You can slightly decrease highlights and apply the same corrections which we used in the previous example. Now I save the LUT I name it Red Log Film We go to DaVinci Update the LUT list and apply our LUT. So we make the same field development from red log film to Rec 709 with the LUT. Similarly, you can work with footage from other cameras, for example Blackmagic. That's all for this video, subscribe to our channel, goodbye.